So honestly, let's 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 talk. How many friends do I do I have? How many friends do I really have? If you are my friend and you are not following Struggling Christians the channel on YouTube, you know what? Just delete my number. Delete my number because we are fighting. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome. It's your favorite girl, Ruth. And no, I'm not skipping the point. Go and follow Struggling Christians, the channel on YouTube. It's just Struggling Christians because you are missing out on a lot. On here, you get to hear my voice, you get to hear my views, but I'm sure you also want to hear the views of other people. You want to hear what other people think and you know how they can relate to that specific topic. And that is all and more that you're missing on the YouTube channel. Plus on there also, you also get this audio with a cute little video that they do it. So you also get to see my face like, hello. <laughs> So welcome back guys, welcome to the month of February, I'm so happy to welcome you. I mean, we survived the 150 days of January, wow. And we're in February, and it's a leap year this year, so shout out to Danny, your birthday is on the 29th, my bestie, um, God bless you, and all that. So we're just going to jump right into today's topic. Today's topic is purpose. Purpose, be that. Purpose, your purpose in life. Now, as a child of God, I'm sure that this is something, a word that you've come across, you know, that's played around in your head. Or, uh, I mean, like, did you just think that you were what? One of the 7.5 billion people that God just like dropped you to be part of that for no reason to just come to earth, wake up, go to work, eat, sleep. Like, I, I mean, I'm saying this because if you have not really thought about what your purpose is on this earth, I think that there's something really wrong somewhere because you can't just be. You can't just have been put on this earth to just come and coexist. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everyone is here for a reason. And especially as a child of God, if you work closely with the Holy Spirit, there is no how. There are certain things that you will start to discern, that you start to desire, that you start to decode about your life and about what God wants for your life. And this is because your purpose is the reason why God created you. And so it is through your relationship with the Holy Spirit that you try, that you start to discern what this purpose is. Your purpose on earth is way too important as a child of God. It is way too important because, like, as I said, that's the reason why, it, like, Shola was put on this earth so that Shola can do this specific thing. That was what God was. God was thinking about something when he thought about putting Shola on this earth. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to figure out what that is as opposed to just wasting away your life because what majority of people on this earth are doing is just coexisting. They're not really leaving. It is paramount for you to know and understand what your purpose is and what goes with it to the Holy Spirit. Like it is, I cannot stress that enough. If you miss that purpose in life, it has a ripple effect, guys. And a lot of things are misplaced as a result. And then you start to wonder why, like what, what's going on? Do you know? I have some people that I met that just randomly just tell me that, Ruth, I don't even know what kind of life I'm living. It is only someone that knows what their purpose is yeah i mean they might they might struggle they might say oh i'm frustrated i want to get this done i want to get that done but they would not not know what they're doing with their life does that make sense guys and as i said earlier you have to master 
working with the Holy Spirit to get what your purpose is. Like it is important, it cannot be stressed enough. And a lot of us also as Christians, we wake up and we're like, God, I want to know what my purpose is, I want to know what my purpose is. And sometimes God cannot give you the bigger picture yet. He cannot give you the bigger picture because he has not even seen you handle the little things. So he needs to understand that you need to be able to handle the little things that he entrusts you with. I'll give you guys an example. For weeks now, I've been talking about this party with my friends. It's a friend's birthday. We want to go. We want to hang out. You know, that day comes. I'm dressed already. I'm ready to step out of my house. The Holy Spirit tells me, we don't go for that party. Now, in my head, that's not making any sense. Because, hello, if he did not want me to go, you should have, you should have told me. Before I went to go and buy the dress, before I started dressing up, doing the makeup. So what majority of us, and probably even myself, would do in that situation is I would still go. But my point is, those are the little things that God uses to test us. And it's just like every other system in this world. Before you can move to the next stage, you get tested. You get tested, you get exams. God is like that as well. And in line with revealing what your purpose is, that is the way the Holy Spirit will work with you. You will be tested for little things, small things, minor things. It's a process, guys. It's a journey. It's not something that you just know. Like, it is a journey. And God needs to be sure that you are ready. And as a matter of fact, let's be very clear. God is not testing you for him. Because remember, he can see your heart. He knows what you're thinking. He knows how ready you are. But he needs to put that test to you so you can see that you are not ready to handle it. And so you can understand why he needs to delay or withhold some information from getting to you. And just like every other thing, your purpose is going to take time to manifest. Because guess what? Even if you know today that God wants you to, I don't know, start up a, a massive business that's going to help thousands of people. You know that. It has been revealed to you. You've gotten a revelation about that. But hello, two years down the line after receiving that, you are still working on that somebody earning 60,000 naira. It will take time. It like you, You're getting lessons. You're getting plans. You know, your God is seeing how you're fixing your priority. God is seeing how you're managing another person's business before he gives you your own business. That's the mix. Makes sense, guys. There are certain characters and attributes that need to be embedded in us before we are ready to see the full picture. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, don't take it that God is ignoring you. God is not ignoring you as a matter of fact. He's teaching you. He's grooming you. He's working on you. He's building you for the main show, for your purpose. And some of us, as I said, get to know it earlier than others. So because this person got to know that this is what they want to do, this is what they are going to do to impact life, to change lives, you know, in the body of Christ, and you don't know yours yet, it doesn't mean that you don't have a purpose. It doesn't mean that you're useless. As a matter of fact, it just means that it is not time yet. Keep working closely with the Holy Spirit and you'll be, it will be revealed to you. And just general things. For most of us, the little things like, you know, serving others, loving others, you know, these are the little things that no matter what your purpose is, they will always come into play. Like they, they literally would always come into play. Like so master this process, embrace it. When they tell us that we should walk at church, join the department at church, and some of us frown, frown at it. We see it as a chore, we see it as a problem. But really, really, it is all part of the process. If you're going to be somebody, there are some things you need to go through that will shape that person. That you eventually become. Let's use Joseph as an example in the Bible. Joseph had to go through being kidnapped, being sold to Potiphar, being in prison for 10 years before he eventually got to the position of governor. Now, I put it to you that if all those things did not happen in that sequence to Joseph, Joseph would never have gotten to the point where he got to. And God made it that way. And God, he says, my yoke is light. God made him 
that way and gave him the grace to handle it. That it was a life, he was perfectly fine when he got to the point where he was, he was heading to. Finally, guys, like Romans 12 1 says that like put yourself to God as a living vessel. Submit yourself to him and be ready to be used by him. Because nothing beats being open to the Holy Spirit. Because a lot of us, like open-mindedness is so important when we're working with God, you know. We try to bring logic into it. The Holy Spirit will be telling you to do A, you are doing B. Yes, you claim that you have not seen it. You have not heard from him. You cannot figure out what your purpose is. You cannot figure it out if you are, if you are disobedient. Like you need to trust God absolutely with all your heart. You need to use Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 as prayer plans. Trust God with your heart and lean on, on, or not on your own understanding because your understanding is limited. Only when you do that will you be ready to understand your purpose in this life. I hope that I have been able to touch on the important basic you know, areas on purpose. So please guys, join us later this month in two weeks for the video in the video i have two amazing guests and they shared like you know like fun it was it was eye-opening for me myself you know like in terms of discussing in depth what purpose and how your purpose is intertwined with your destiny also so thank you so much for joining me today have a lovely lovely day and I'll see you later in the month. Bye-bye, guys.